How's it going guys? Welcome to today's video. This live video is going to be for Lisa. It is clear light versus radiant health. It says, hi Matt, I've watched several of your videos. I have a sanctuary, I'm sorry, let me back up. I have a sanctuary one ordered, but I have since been watching your videos and it seems that you have ranked radiant health over clear light. We deal with a lot of toxins issue, or toxin issues in general and my husband has been clear of cancer for almost two years. I have a higher sensitivity to power lines and that kind of thing. Would you personally go radiant health over clear light? I can't, or I don't recall the EMF readings on clear light, in the, or I don't recall the video EMF readings on the clear light. We're also looking for one that just plugs into a regular outlet. Any thoughts? Thanks, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Um, yeah, I have some thoughts. I mean, I don't know. You have a Sanctuary 1 order. That's the biggest Sanctuary that you can get until you need a dedicated 20 amp circuit. So if you were to get a Sanctuary 2 or if you wanted a larger sauna, it sounds like it kind of looks like EMF is your most critical point or your, your highest criteria for selecting um, a sauna. If that's true, um, a clear light Premier would be a better choice over a Sanctuary 1. I know it's not as fancy, but it does have lower EMF levels. The body voltage is lower. Um, it's The Sanctuary 1 is not so high that I, I wouldn't use it or that I would say that it's harmful, but you've got electric fields in there of about seven, eight hundred, six, anywhere from six to eight hundred volts per meter. You've got body voltage in there of about eight hundred millivolts in some places. You've got some decent magnetic field spikes um, up in the front heaters because those ceramic heaters that are in the front on the back of the glass, those measure differently than the black carbon heaters that are on the sides. But in no way is it like a super high EMF sauna like the ones you see on my blog. Um, if you happen to be looking at some of my old reviews, and I talk about like the worst sauna I've ever tested and it's called a radiant sauna. Just want to make sure that this is clear. That radiant sauna was a knockoff. It wasn't a radiant health. It was radiant from Amazon, which is super high. You've got 100 milligauss. You can go watch the video. You've got 100 milligauss magnetic fields in there. Body voltage, electric fields, everything is sky high. Uh, just like the Costco saunas, you know, really high electric fields. Neither the Sanctuary One nor the Clearlight Premier have that level of EMF. So I think you would be fine in either one. If EMF is your primary, you know, concern and it is your most important criteria as a buying decision, I would recommend the Clearlight Premier or the Radiant Health Elite series because both of those are about the same price. Both of those are lower EMF than the Sanctuary um, and both of those would serve you well, either one. Um, would I personally go Radiant Health over Clearlight? Well, I mean, I mean, I'm kind of biased, but that's just what I like. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's a lot better or that need, you know one wouldn't serve you well versus another one. It's kind of down to personal preference. I like the Radiant Health stuff. I like working with them. Um, they're a great company. They're not pushy. Uh, they're super helpful. I think their saunas are really good. They test amazing. What I would do is probably just YouTube my videos, the Radiant Health EMF sauna review and then the Clearlight Premier EMF sauna review. And you can watch me doing the exact same thing side by side in both saunas. And maybe there's something in the video, because basically I take the camera off the tripod in one part of the video, and I kind of pan around and let you see what they look like inside. Also show you the floor. Some of them have ceramic tile on the floor so that there's you know something there to keep the sweat off the wood. It's just really nice features. The Radiant Health has a couple of things that the Clearlight Premier doesn't. <clears throat> Clearlight Sanctuary has a couple things that the Radiant Health um, and the Clearlight Premier don't have. So Clearlight Sanctuary, you know, is a lot more expensive. You could probably get a two-person Clearlight Premier or a two-person Radiant Health that still plugs into a regular outlet for the same price that you pay for a one-person Clearlight Sanctuary. So personally, unless this, it, it, it all comes down to buying preference and what you're, what's most important to you, right? So some people just love the look of the sanctuary. They like the lights inside. They like the angled glass on the front. Um, they, they just like that. And so if that's you know, really important to you or you know, you've got to have a certain type of wood option or something like that, you, those might not be available in the other models. But if it's for strictly EMF purposes, I would go with the Clearlight Premier or the Radiant Health. Either one of those would be really good. Um, and like I said, in those two EMF videos, you can kind of get a feel for what both saunas are like. Maybe something will strike you or, or stand out to you as you're watching one of those and help you along your buying purchase or your, your um, you know, selecting whatever is best for you. So hope that's helpful. I don't know if that touched on exactly what you were looking for or not, but um, if not, let me know and I can make another follow-up video. Have a great day. See you in tomorrow's video.